This is your CBS 46 News Flash Briefing, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good afternoon, I'm Gervier Denza. Gwinnett County becomes the latest now ordering establishments where people congregate to close until further notice. Commission Chair Charlotte Nash signed the emergency order this morning to stop the spread of the coronavirus. And right now in Cobb County, Commission Chair Mike Boyce has declared a state of emergency, asking residents of the county to shelter in place there. That order in effect until April 15th. It started at noon today. And here's a look at some of the order from Cobb County's uh, chair. There are to be no public gatherings of more than 10 people, either indoors or outdoors. All parks and recreational facilities are closed until April 15th. Now, non-essential businesses can stay open at this point, but they can operate no earlier than 6 a.m. and no later than 9 p.m., so a curfew in place there. Now, these are the latest coronavirus numbers in Georgia just coming in. Statewide cases are now at 1,247, and we've uh, had 40, at least 40 deaths in our state. In addition, three Atlanta-based CDC employees are among the state's nearly 1,300 cases of the coronavirus. Finally, a deal, the White House and the Senate agreeing to an historic $2 trillion stimulus package to help America get through the coronavirus nightmare. That deal includes $500 billion in loans for big businesses and nearly $400 billion in grants and loans for small businesses and $250 billion set aside for direct cash payments to working Americans. At last, we have a deal. On the largest rescue package in American history. We do need to tell you that that package still has to be finalized in detailed legislative language. A vote on that bill is going to happen today, and then the House picks it up from there. And Prince Charles, 71 years old, has tested positive for coronavirus. The heir to the throne is said to have mild symptoms. Palace, palace officials say he's otherwise in pretty good health. The Prince of Wales is now in self-isolation at Balmoral Estate in Scotland and working from home with his wife Camilla. She has also been tested, but we're told she's negative. The palace says it's impossible to know where Prince Charles caught the virus. Well, we're finally seeing some sunshine after the rain is out of here, which is pretty nice to see. Let's check in with uh, meteorologist Fred Campagna. Hi, Gravere. It is nice to see that sunshine and we get a break from the rain for days to come. So definitely uh, looking forward to this stretch. The only downside is that the pollen count will be very high for us. By late this afternoon, the temperature will be in the low to mid 70s in most of North Georgia under clear skies. And then clear skies are going to stay with us tonight. And that will allow the temperature to dip into the upper 40s to low 50s as the wind swings around to more out of the east and northeast compared to the northwest that we have out there this afternoon. Now tomorrow afternoon it bounces right back. After the cool start it'll be, get back into the 70s, probably warmer than today, up into the mid 70s uh, tomorrow afternoon. And Friday looks even warmer. It won't be cool Friday morning. It'll already be in the 60s. And Friday afternoon the temperature will soar up into the lower 80s. So We've got a warm stretch, too. Not just a dry stretch, but it gradually gets warmer. 84 on Friday, 82 on Saturday. Turns a bit cooler, but still warmer than normal on Sunday with some clouds around and a 30% chance of a passing shower. Most of the day, though, looks dry. This has been your personal flash briefing from CBS 46 News. Brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.